Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So guys, before beginning with the content, let me inform you that you can download the PDF of this session via the Telegram channel that we have, and the link of the channel is in description below. So on that note, let's begin with our first question. Where is India's first grass conservatory located? Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Sikkim, Nagaland are in the options. Out of which Uttarakhand is the right answer. So as you know that majority of the natural conservatories are there in Uttarakhand. For example, we have the moss garden, which is India's first. We have pollinators uh, garden also in Uttarakhand only. We have snow leopard conservation. center also coming up in the state we also have lichens garden there so all of these are the na na uh, conservation center for different kinds of natural resources so on that note i would like to ask a question from you and my question from you is that which one is the state bird and the state animal of the state of uttarakhand so this is your first question of the day obviously i'm going to ask more questions during the course of the video so yes you will be packed with homework but still as far as this question is concerned i have only these questions from for you all so do tell me the state bird and the state animal of this state of uttarakhand so as you can see that it's a very brief news as far as the exact location is concerned rani khet in almora district is the exact location of this class conservatory next question is kesar e hind is the state butterfly of which state arunachal pradesh telangana punjab kerala maharashtra so these are the five states out of which the right answer here is arunachal pradesh so basically the state minister or the state cabinet of arunachal pradesh held a meeting at this pack tiger reserve and this was one of the uh, ordinary occasion you can say because usually the meetings are held at the state capital but this time it was held at this tiger reserve in this district pak kesang district so this was one of the odd events which we can say so this also makes it extraordinary and interesting and the question that can be framed is that where is this tiger reserve located so do remember it is located in the state of arunachal pradesh now the full name of this declaration is pack tiger reserve 2047 declaration on climate change resilient and uh, responsive arunachal pradesh so as we all know that 2070 is the goal of india to become a net zero emission country and in order to contribute towards that goal this declaration has been adopted by the state which is also the first of its kind initiative on the part of arunachal pradesh so do remember that as well now the basic purpose is to lower the emissions and achieve the sustainable development now apart from this declaration the two important announcements were also made one is that this portal e cabinet portal was launched by the state and through this portal all the work of the state cabinet will be done online so this portal is to make the work online of the state cabinet to go paperless basically and next is the announcement of the state butterfly which we have already discussed via the question so do remember these things that happened at this meeting of arunachal pradesh state cabinet next question is with which multilateral organization has india smart grid forum partnered to create the power india partnership forum okay so we have world bank imf asian development bank both anc both bnc and as we all can see the answer is b so this is i apologize for the mistake here but the answer is already evident now let's discuss what this v power india partnership forum is so basically the world bank and asian development bank both of them collaborated to launch this platform the v power india uh, partnership forum back in the year 2019 only and the basic purpose was to promote women in power sector increase their participation in the power sector that was the basic 
purpose and this year in 2021 virtually this forum was held and the forum was organized in partnership with india smart grid platform okay so all of these three uh, organizations world bank adb and this india smart grid forum organized this we power india partnership forum which is basically a platform for uh, for discussing the ways to increase the participation of women in the power sector okay so that was all about this news moving on to the next question what is the theme of the world children's day 2021 option a a better future for every child option b time to focus on impact of climate change option c children are taking over and turning the world blue option stop violence against children option e children and peace although all of these themes seem to be very friendly towards the uh, towards the world affairs that we have right now all of these seem to be suitably right answer but the right answer is only one and that is option a better future for every child okay so here we need to know that there are two children's day one is our own children's day that is celebrated on november 14 on the birth anniversary of prime minister jawaharlal nehru the other one is the children's day that the united nation observes the date of both of these differ the children's day of india is on november 14 the children's day of the world is on november 20 okay now this we have already uh, this we already know that it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of our former prime minister jawaharlal nehru this year the ministry of women and child development in order to celebrate this day has created many activities have uh, has we can say uh, celebrated this day by organizing many activities and the basic theme of those activities was children ideas right science nutrition okay so that was the theme of the activities or the celebration of the children's day holistically as we can say next is the world children's days theme and the theme is a few, better future for every child now here the next next question that i am going to ask from you is that recently janjatiya gorav divas has been announced and i know that majority of you would have already come across this news so now your question is that you have to tell me the date of the janjatiya gorav divas next question is udan udna bas is the biography of which of the following personality akash malik savant ajay anand aditi ashok manu bhake gur gurbachan singh randhawa so we have these options out of which option e gurbachan singh randhawa is the right answer now he was an olympian and he had also won the arjun award and this book the udanam bas has been authored by navneet singh gill and this book is also important because the state minister the sports minister of the state of punjab has himself released this biography so do remember this as well basically you can skip this point but this much is important for you to remember so guys that was all for today today's video was brief only i have kept it short in by, uh, in order to make it refreshing for you only thank you so much for watching this video and if you have liked the content then do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for okay. your